Again, he's been a very busy man because when you pull the radar up and it's got all of that on there, <laughs> you're going to be talking about that rain, Looks aren't like you? a Christmas tree, right? It sure it does. does. It's got the greens. It's got a little yellow, a little For red, the lights. some orange. It's got all the lights on it out there. <laughs> Fortunately, these lights, even the heavier colors or the brighter colors there, the oranges, reds, and yellows, they're not representing any thunderstorm activity like they had across the deep south today. But this is a continuation of what's been a decent soaking around the area. And over the next few hours, it's still going to rain rain at a decent clip. So we are continuing to watch those rainfall amounts tally up here. As you can see, we've had just a continuous flow of wet weather throughout the evening hours all around the tri state with the heavier rains, particularly really bulls eyeing area south of the Ohio River. Here comes another wave of good steady soaking rain up through parts of Owen Grant counties there. This will work its way back up towards the Ohio River. No thunder or lightning detected in any of this, but it is certainly making for a very wet night. Now, here's some promising signs for the end of the rainfall. If you look here back towards Evansville, Bowling Green, down towards the land between the lakes there in western Tennessee and Kentucky, there's some drier air that's about to start working its way up the Ohio River Valley. So I say we've probably got another, oh, three, four hours left of rain should shut off somewhere between about 3 and 4 a.m. for us here in the tri-state, and that will happen uh, as we work our way from west to east. Now, look at some of these rainfall amounts now, finally really adding up, especially south of the Ohio River, widespread rainfall amounts in excess of an inch and a half, inch and a quarter. We're seeing those numbers gradually increase too as well north of the Ohio River, so a decent soaking for a good number of us, as you can see across parts of Bracken County, uh, also down in the parts of Grant County over an inch, over an inch of rain up in the parts of Boone County, closing in on close to about three quarters of an inch here in the immediate metro. So this is how Futurecast looks. We'll continue to add rain through the night tonight. Here's 2 a.m. Notice by 4, most of the rain is ended. So I expect better commuting conditions, thankfully, for tomorrow morning while the road still will be wet. At least we won't have the standing water out there and there won't be rain actually falling. Temperatures will be going down, though, in the morning, so keep that in mind. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. The colder air really gets in here tomorrow night. It may be enough to squeeze out a flurry or two, but this is of no real consequence for us. But it just basically signals the arrival of our cold weather pattern that will get even colder going into to Christmas week around here. So it's chilly this weekend, but not nearly as cold as what's probably coming. So tonight there's a warm front lifting through. Temperatures have gone up so far tonight, but here comes that cooler air and you can see that changing some of the rain to snow out across parts of Illinois tonight. Again, we don't have to worry about that, at least not yet. But the trend is certainly for colder and typically when we get these big cold waves, usually it doesn't happen in one event. You kind of get a smaller surge and then the mega surge kind of comes and I think that's what's going to happen right before Christmas. We'll get the full load of cold air coming into the Ohio Valley. For now, though, it's a mild night. It's the warmest it's been all day. We are in the low 50s. It actually feels pretty nice out there if it weren't for the wet weather. Temperatures range from 40s north of the river to now low 50s along the river and south. So we'll spend the next handful of hours in the 50s. It's going to be pretty mild through the majority of the night. However, right before the sun comes up in the morning, look what happens to temperatures. Look at that between three and five temperatures begin to crash and we'll be back down into the low to mid 40s as we start our Thursday. So temps will keep inching up for another hour or two before they start the fall come 3, 4 a.m. Then tomorrow 53, that's going to be, you know, within the next hour or two. The warmest part of your Thursday is happening here shortly, as by the time you wake up, it will be much cooler for the majority of the day. All right, here's your seven day forecast. So we have 30s Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Temperatures barely make it above freezing over the weekend. And then we get a little reprieve early next week. But this is in anticipation of the even colder air that's yet to come just beyond Wednesday here, Mike and Ashley on the seven day. Some of those numbers do involve negative values. So whether it be wind chills or temperatures, it is some serious cold we're watching possibly for the Christmas holiday itself. All right, let's put that into a